It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, uh, well, my name is Guillermo Amaral, and I will talk about P charts, which is basically the framework for building charts in B small talk. And um, as you know, B small talk is a new small talk, and uh, we work at Caesar Systems. But uh, first of all, I want to point out a couple of things. Um, <clears throat> first, since P small talk is going to be open source, this framework is going to be available for you to use it freely. Um, I don't know when P small talk is going to be out, but uh, I'm sure that um, this chart, I'm sure it will be, but uh, this uh, framework will be available for uh, for you to use it freely. And the second thing... <laughs> yes, jump in. I agree with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> second move. Um, this framework is not a prototype. I mean, this is not a research project, but uh, it is the result of, um, I mean, we are using it, I mean, we are using a previous version of this framework in our main product, which is PetroVR, so the majority of its um, capabilities and functionalities are the result of uh, user requirements, so it is uh, very uh, developed and tested. <clears throat> so, um, I want uh, to talk, talk a little bit and show you uh, what the capabilities of the framework are. So, um, let's see a big picture of the architecture of the framework. <clears throat> Our framework is mounted on top of GDI Plus as the rendering backend, and uh, we, but we don't call directly the functions of uh, the GDI Plus, but um, we talk to the abstract rendering layer. So this, opposed, this of course allows us to change the backend. In fact, we are thinking about. Um, going to another one, such as OpenGL. Um, and also, I think it um, allows you to, I guess, uh, port this uh, framework to another uh, dialect of small, at least from the rendering point of view. There's more. OK, uh, the chart is uh, divided into three main areas. The main abstraction of uh, this uh, framework is a chart, which is the model. And this chart has a graphical representation, which lives in um, some graphical layer, which is the chart shape. <clears throat> and then uh, there is some user interface, which is a chart pane, which interacts or allows the interaction with the chart. Um, by means of this chart interface. Okay, a little bit more of detail. From the model side, we have a chart. A chart is can be um, thought as um, basically as a collection of series, where a series is basically a collection of points plus some information. And we also provide at uh, this side. Uh, a way of uh, specifying graphical properties that will be used. Graphical properties such as color, uh, line width, line size, etc. that will be used uh, when building these uh, graphical options. And there, there is um, almost a mirror between the model and the um, graphical options. 
And, well, would we count the different types of chart, for instance, x, y charts, um, circle of charts, which include um, point charts and brick charts, so, <laughs> so <laughs> here, well, we need to use this, weather charts, and some other charts, for instance, tornado charts, which is um, very useful for um, petroleum. Okay, let's go to the demo and we will see what we can do with this framework. Uh, okay, uh, let's start with some simple example. Here is a scripting GUI which um, I developed. Um, <clears throat> so we can easily see the effects of building a chart. For instance, here we have a XY chart, and uh, as you can see, there's some, <clears throat> we can expect this by doing a click, and the control press, control press, and the effect is inspecting the uh, graphical object under the mouse. So, in this case, I have a chart grid shape, but um, I can go to the parent, which is the X Y chart shape, and uh, the model is an X Y chart. We can expect that it has an X axis, a Y axis, and I was saying that as you can as you can see, the chart has some default um, values or ranges for the axis. <clears throat> so let's see what we can do. For instance, suppose we want to add a title to the chart. Well, let's do it by telling title and this is so <coughs> team. Um, the only condition of this script is that it has to return the chart. So there it, there it goes. Uh, Suppose we want to add a series to the chart, well, we define a variable series. In this case, it can be an X, Y series that requires some ID and some X values. For instance, one, two, three, four, and some Y values. And three, four, six, one. And then we to <clears throat> add this series to the chart. So we can do it by telling the chart that series. And that's it. We can do it, we can apply it. It looks pretty ugly, I, I think. So we can do <clears throat> a little bit more, for instance, we can uh, start adding some graphical, uh, I don't know, uh, aspects to this chart. For instance, we can tell the series to be um, a full color. This is a shortcut for setting uh, both the color, the feeling, the, 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 the color of the field and the color of the border of, the, of a series, in this case, since it is a line series, it has no field. Anyway, I use it. And then, um, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, since the axes have changed because um, they have some sort of automatic limits, we can fix them. For instance, we can say something like chart x axis mean, uh, let's say mean zero, max six. And then we also can um, configure the ticks to be, I don't know, um, major tick one. So, pretty much better, but we can now tell, for instance, 
to the series to be an area series. Let's see what happens. Okay, maybe adding some transparency to the filling. <coughs> better. So let's do that by format by asking the model in this case, the series model, the format, its format, and then telling transparency. Okay. That's better. So can you can you uh, specify color just color with alpha? Yes, I could. I could. Um, okay, let's um Let's do something more interesting. Suppose we like to we have some real data, for instance. Um, the countries of the people that have assisted to this conference, and then we have the amount of them per country. Now we can tell the chart to use these as some X categories. And uh, this message is a shortcut for configuring the X axis as a category axis. We will see in a few seconds that we have several types of axis. And then the X values would be those categories and the Y values. <clears throat> and we can use, instead of an area series, we can use a column series. And since it is a category axis, it doesn't make sense to say that it has a max and mean. So <clears throat> there it goes. We have here the amounts of. of people per country, uh, uh, France 24, etc. We should bring more people next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see so something more interesting. Uh, not all categories are shown now. Oh yes, that's because the width of the window, um, sorry, I closed it, but um, uh, there's a, a dynamic way of uh, making it, uh, showing it. We have a, a way to fix them, to fix it. To yes, yes, we have. We have. A, there is a lot of, of, of ways, particularly to angle specify an angle. Okay. Yes, we can specify an angle. You can put variables in zigzag shape. You know that uh, odd variables going up uh, yeah. one way, even so they. Even though that if you draw them horizontally, they look. Yes. Overlap each other, but if you they are different line, yes, level. Okay. <coughs> this is some sort of um, gallery in which uh, we have, for instance, samples of uh, types of uh, charts. We have with uh, line charts, as we saw before, um, area charts, column charts, bar charts. Um, there's curve charts, which are Splines, it uses splines as the way of interpolating points. Uh, also, step charts, which uh, are some sort of stair, which each Y value is kept until the next question. Correction. Why are there some Y values omitted? Yeah. Okay, for the same reason. Um, there's. Um, <clears throat> well, I, I, I can. I should see that. But uh, there is, um, it is not so easy to calculate, not to calculate how many of them, but which one um, will be um, visible. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but uh, we have also bubble charts, which are basically the same as the next Y chart. But they come with uh, sizes <coughs> for each point. And here we have uh, three series with some random back values. And uh, <clears throat> one, one 
this interesting uh, thing here is that um, we can also apply a color palette. Uh, here I use fancy one, which is a color palette to specify the color of the series at once. <coughs> um, <coughs> circular charts, we have a pie on charts. We also have a high low charts, which um, for each point, each point specifies to y values instead of just one, and this message again. Um, high low charts can be area charts also. These uh, styles or types of charts can be mixed, can be put together. I mean, different series can have different uh, styles, for instance, columns and Again, the, this is ugly. Okay, uh, area and curves and so on. Uh, rather, as I said before, they could be um, area or lines or curves. In a rather, um, <clears throat> a rather chart is specified by means of uh, some categories. Each category will have uh, one axis. And the, the series are almost specified the same way as an XY series. And um, the rest of the script specifies some formatting uh, uh, things. But wait, uh, um, yes. So at least, where is Y axis then? I mean, you have five axes. No, there's no Y axis. You have one axis for each category. So yes, the you're asking because of this, I guess. No, I, I mean you, you lay out the values on the five axis. Yes. You have one value per each category, so each value is projected in each axis. So, so this is the definition of the value chart. What? So Sorry. each color is a non series? Each color is it represents a series. I mean, each series has a color. This is the series. <coughs> no, I think this is the first series. And again. Okay, well, mm, what else? Oh, mm, axis types. Well, there are basically three kinds of axis a numeric one, uh, date axis, and category axis. Before um, here, I use the message use x categories, and then I set the categories. But um, we also have the, the, the previous chart in which I tell the chart use these x categories. <coughs> uh, also, um, there's the possibility of having uh, two y axis, primary and secondary axis, and some series and be projected to the first axis and some other second. Uh, there's an interesting thing here, which is um, a trend line. Uh, suppose we have uh, some series with a cloud of points, uh, random points in this case. And then we have a simple way of telling the chart that, uh, um, in this case, a linear trend uh, based on the points of some series, correct? I, in this case, I said a uh, trend series of the series S, and then we got this this line here, which is the, the trend line um, of those points. And these are examples of um, some statistical charts we um, usually use in Petro VR. Uh, for instance, this is a QQ plot, <coughs> and the script is as simple as the previous ones, but uh, <coughs> the only thing is that um, there's more uh, thing, there's more stuff for building two samples of two probability distributions, and then well, um, adding a series with the quantiles of the, of, of those. Or a more simple one is this. This is um, 
uh, chart of um, some probability distribution. I mean, there's two series, one for the density and one for the cumulative uh, function. And what else? Also, there, this, is, this is cool. Um, this is a box plot. Uh, here, again, we have a, a nice white chart, but the series are uh, box series, uh, and they basically have several y values that represent uh, in indicators of some sample. For instance, here we have a sample A, which has some max and means and means, etc. And the next <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, histogram this is a basic uh, statistical chart. And, I don't know, uh, uh, you can go back to the, yeah. Um, yeah. the y axis has 0, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So, why can't oh, you I, scale the, the numbers that. so that they are really different? Yes, yes, we, we can do that. For instance, we can tell the y axis to use a different print. It has a, a, a default print. The so string. Uh, that doesn't get it from the data, it's yet to put it in. Uh, for instance, we can do it using a uh, one. that um, these charts are uh, provides uh, interaction, complete interaction. I mean, there's the possibility of uh, selecting points, selecting series. And um, <clears throat> uh, we'll speak about interaction a little bit later. But um, one of the things that I can do here is, for instance, export this chart to Excel. We have, um, Full compatibility with Excel, except for those cases in which Excel doesn't allow us to handle. For instance, in Excel, uh, you cannot have um, an area chart um, in a chart with a, um, a scale axis as the x axis. Well, those cases we make some translation and then we export. that the rest of the charts uh, are exportable. Uh, okay. Well, <clears throat> we're talking about um, interaction. <coughs> Let me show you some examples, for instance. Uh, interaction can be used uh, for synchronizing charts. Uh, every every action on a chart uh, triggers an event, so we can use those events for synchronizing charts. For instance, if I select the series here, the corresponding series is selected in the other two charts. Um, the upper chart, the upper chart has um, the only sales of three companies. So uh, here we have the total sales, and here the, the, the record. And um, well, besides uh, synchronizing the selection, we can synchronize the selection in different ways. For instance, if I select uh, here, um, the record of company C, we obtain uh, the points, like the point representing uh, that record of the chart, the first chart. For example, we can use it again to synchronize charts. For instance, here we have our yearly sales, and, and then if I select in one year, 
I get uh, a detail. Again, the, the same anion effect of what you said before. Um, <clears throat> Well, I, I get a detail, monthly sales for this year, plus some average. Um, it's just another example. Let's see what else. Uh, here, here I have a, a bubble chart uh, with um, the um, drilling cost and time of several wells. Um, and then uh, the size representing the uh, cumulative oil production, for instance, it's just an example. But then when I select one point here, or more, here, I get uh, the historical oil production of those wells, and the selected wells. What else? <coughs> we have oh, here. This is, this is cool. Okay, suppose we have um, uh, this chart, and uh, interaction uh, I mean the, the, the framework provides interaction via this chart interface which allows us to specify several kinds of interaction via several tools. Uh, for instance, we have we have here Have here a tool that allows us to select a, ne a next uh, a, a range in the x-axis. So we can use this tool as a sort of scrolling bar uh, to select a period of time. I mean, both charts have the same um, <clears throat> range for the x-axis. So we can use it to select a range in the chart below and then scroll. Uh, in the chart above, it's going to be useful to, to have a kind of a, a zoom or, or more detail in some period. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, drag and drop. We can do drag and drop of series. We, we can <coughs> um, we can, for instance drag this series to this chart, we can use it pressing the control, control button to get a copy or not. Um, here, if I double click here, I get the entire series selected so I can move it to instance here and so on. Uh, drag and drop uh, this is another example. It can be used for <coughs> making some tool to totalize. For instance, suppose we have again some data, yearly sales in this case, and we may have uh, four curves of yearly sales, and then I can drag this series here to make a um, pie series with the, um, with the sun. So, again, again. Can you come to an end because your time is okay. Sorry? Your time is up. Your time is okay. okay. So, uh, let's go back to the presentation. Okay, features. Features, well, uh, full edition, I didn't show that, but I can do it quickly. We also provide a complete uh, GUI for editing the um, aspect of the, of the chart, I mean, one field marker, label format, the type of the CVS. Um, we also provide templates that are some sort of a, a quick way to specify the format uh, of the chart, the entire chart, not only the series, but the background, the fonts, etc. <coughs> Well, this is another feature. There's the possibility to convert from one kind of chart to another. So, for instance, we can have an XY chart, and then we get a pie chart. Well, 
full interaction, templates, or threads, scanlines, merging, CPR, VR, Excel exports, VRB. And <clears throat> well, that's all. Uh, this is not the complete team of these models, but um, uh, these are well um, the ones that came that came um, this year. Um, so, well, questions and thanks. Thank you very much.